Okay, I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Fresco on the iPad. This is the start screen. Just go to create new or custom size. Right next to custom size, I already have my size, the 20, 100, 2100 pixels is usually what I do. There's no reason for it. It's just what I usually do. But usually you'd go here to create new, you know, your sized or any, you know, saved or you can just pick whichever one you want. So this, this first layer here, that's always your, your back layer, right? If you were to hide it, you'd see these little checkered squares, right? I'm just gonna undo what I just did there. So that little function right there, that is the, the hide layer. So for making SVGs in here, I select this layer right here. I'm gonna go over here to, I wanna add in a photo. You can do add it from your Creative Cloud, take one with your camera, your photos, your files. I'm just going to pick one from my my pictures here. I guess we'll go with this little guy, right? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and make him quite a bit bigger. So you see, I can kind of... All right. And that's about where I want to have him. I'm going to make sure that you can, you know, undo, undo you know, or, you know, flip the, the direction, make sure to hit done. Okay. So if I wanted to kind of use this as a reference, I would go over here to the right and that little square there to add in a new layer. <clears throat> and I'd probably, you know, move, move this guy kind of over to the side is where I would have placed him. Right. But I kind of, if I wanted to just trace over it like this, just Make sure it's selected and go over here to the layer properties down to the, the opacity and turn it down a bit, right? Okay. And then make sure that top layer there is selected. You can choose your, your different brushes. This one is pencil. That's not really so great for trying to make it to where you want to do. Uh, let, let's see with this one here. And I don't really care for that one there. Let's go back. That's a live brush. Not really what you want for... Make sure my opacity is on there. There we go. Okay, so there you go. That brush is just the hard round. Okay, so I like working with layers. I'm just going to add another one. Because if I... The reason I like working in layers is... Um, I to zoom in like that I just took my two fingers and hold on to the screen and I'm pushing them apart while pressing down and moving them closer together that's kind of how you do it there so I'm now I'm switching over to the other one and I'm going to draw another circle like so the reason why I like to work onto the different ones is like that circle is pretty rough so I'm going to hit the eraser here so now my first circle is okay. I don't, you can't really see, but I'm wiggling my Apple Pencil here around and it's not going to erase that bottom part right there, right? I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I have the eraser on and I'm kind of just going through. And yeah, so it's kind of just working it like this, but I'm going to go back to, you know, that other layer and I'm gonna try it again here and there you go so when I go in to erase a section of this I don't have to worry about that other layer being deleted I'm just gonna do this one right about here so to fill it in <clears throat> you would go over here to that bucket and then click. But with, as with <laughs> Photoshop and Fresco here, anytime you do that, there's always this 
this layer around it right in here like you're gonna have anytime you use that fill bucket you're gonna have to go in here and fill that in so so and then to combine the layers like let's say that it was done click on it and you want to merge down it's down there at the bottom and now all of it is on one layer there, okay? So let's just draw another circle here. I'm gonna use the fill bucket, fill it in. Then I have to go through and color this in. There are other drawing apps out there to where you don't have to do it, but as with the Photoshop one, it, it's with all of them, right? Okay, there you go. And if, again, the eraser there, this is so you can move it, like, let's go ahead and just get it done. Okay, let's say, oh, go back there. If I wanted to, you know, flip it and make it go the other way, you hit that one right there at the top next to done. You kinda, you know, and then <clears throat> this bottom, little part right there is to help turn it if I wanted it to go this way right and so we're done here so you could always you know when you go to export it out if you want to keep the same colors if you're going to be moving it into Illustrator Adobe Illustrator or even Inkscape um, Inkscape is a free uh, desktop based vector software and Illustrator is Adobe's subscription-based one. So with, um, if you wanted to, let, let's say that this one was done and I don't want to send it anywhere. I'm just going to hide it. I'm probably going to delete this one because I don't, there's nothing on it. If I just wanted to send this one because with, if you were sending it to Inkscape, it can't accept in any layers. With Illustrator, it, it can. So I'm just gonna do that one because I want to pull some of the colors out in there. Because, especially in this program, I don't wanna have to color in every single section. And so if I was using this program to do it, I wouldn't, I would just do the outlines and fill, even and fill in the blacks in the other one. So this, little square with the up arrow, that's how you send it somewhere else. Like I'd hit publish and export, export as PNG. It's just gonna look like this. You want it to send it as a PSD. This is basically a Photoshop one. And the reason I do it this way is because it'll export it with these different layers still intact. So that way I can pull the drawing with the colors and then I have my little doodle in separate layers. If you are using something like Inkscape, that's not gonna work. You need to hide out the original image and export it as a JPEG or a PNG. And then you click export and it would show you, you pick where you're gonna send it. I usually send it to my Google Drive. And I'm just gonna hit done because I don't really need to send it anywhere. That's pretty much it to it. Um, well, here, here's a couple of things actually. Um, so this little guy, you can pick the colors out of there using this guy. And then let's go to the brushes here. Right here is how you change the sizings of your brush. Right here is the smoothing. Okay, smoothing. Let's change the size really quick. Smoothing is basically, okay, so it, <laughs> we need to make it a lot smaller. So smoothing, it, kind of it's so if there's like any jagged edges it smooths it out it's 
kind of hard to see with the brushes that I'm picking here. Why don't we try this one? You'll, you'll kind of see it when you're using them. So here we go. There we go. So that's no smoothing. And then here is smoothing. So that's the difference between that's a zero for smoothing. And then this one, it's turned all the way up. So that is what smoothing does here. And then there's, there's the zero. And then smoothing up to 100. It gives you much cleaner lines. The thicker your lines are, or really the, the brushes that you use, this, this is not one I would use for trying to draw anything out. I'd probably go with just the, the hard round ones. Because with your, if you're using an Apple Pen pencil, the, the different pre, uh, pressures, like right here, there's not a lot of pressure versus over here, there's more pressure. So, but with this guy, that brush, there really isn't any pressure differences because of the way the brush is set up. And then there's your, you know, your eraser. Let's go big here if we just wanted to erase all that. Or we could just click on here and just delete out the whole layer or clear it. And that's it.